Alright, so today I'm going to showcase an ASMD mode build that only uses the SMD, clears mobbing very well, and does decent buffing. So let's get right into it. For the gear we've got the only ASMDs for our weapons, with 150-90 anoint, because that's the, the best anoint for this, because you're dealing already so much damage, and you're going to be dealing even more hundreds of millions of damage per shot. Except for some reason, fire in the sky then doesn't apply to the orb's explosion that the ASMD shoots out. For the shield, we've got the one shadow shield with the after exiting iron bear. Kills increase iron bear's cooldown rate by 30%, that's good. Rocket here with plus 5 sky then. Mine sweeper and other class mods that boost sky then aren't gonna do me any good. Cause I can't hit Chris with the ASMD really, so no micro grenades. For the passive, you want splash damage radius, action skill damage, and sniper rifle damage. The bargain with sniper damage, mag size, and area area of effect damage, and a hex shock, because with a with uh, like on grenade thrown, get bonus damage for 25%. The reason we're doing the shock one shotter shield and the shock hex, because we can get 60% bonus damage with harmonious havoc. So that's good. So anyway, if we're in the skill tree, let's we'll just get to the skill tree. We've got the big surplus for bonus incendiary damage when the cup's cooling down. Really big guns. 2 out of 5 to spec down the tree. Harmonious Havoc for that bonus 60% bonus damage because all of our items are shock. Double time for bonus movement speed when cup's active. Fire in the sky then, get that bonus incendiary damage, 10 out of fire, so we get 930% incendiary damage when we're dealing splash damage, even though it doesn't seem like it helps for the ASMD, even though we deal splash damage. Means of destruction, so we can get bonus ammo if, we, if we're dealing splash damage. Starcraft promotion, so we get bonus splash damage and bonus and chance to double splash damage radius, because why not? Same with Steel Bear to boost skag then. Auto bear, so, so cup stays for longer. And then pier 5 out of 5 to spec down the tree. To the last, so you can throw grenades and fire for your life. Short fuse, even though it doesn't also seem like it helps. You wanna give cup a vanquisher rocket pods with the hammer down protocol so cup can shoot nukes. And for 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 orange tree, the only point you'd, you're gonna take is security bear for, for the bubble. Or I guess in Cub's case, it doesn't give a bubble, it just gives him damage reduction instead. For Green Tree, you want Cloud of Lead for occasional incendiary shots. Matched set, so, because we're using all Mal 1 items, we get bonus mag size. We get 40% bonus mag size. Soak the embers for bonus incendiary damage. Crappy. Russian offensive. Scorching RPMs, this is the skag then also, the iron bank for bonus mag size, and forge, which kinda helps. Anyway, let's do the mal one takedown run with the build and see how it performs. I'm not doing true takedown because that sucks. As always. When's the time the true mal one takedown doesn't suck? Alright, so anyway, let's see. Oh yeah, and for the cop augment, you wanna give him baby nukes, so he does some nuking. Anyway, the uh, detonating the ASMD's orb is not gonna kill these guys, so we need to shoot him normally. Yeah, see? Yeah, one shot. 54 million, even without detonating the orb, which can damage the turret guys. Anyway, there's the one. Yeah, 113 million damage. Yeah. This still is pretty fun. Except you explode yourself a lot. When's, when's the time that you're, that you're not exploding yourself as most? Most always explodes herself. Unless it's a build that doesn't use splash weapons, which is a build that doesn't exist. You always use splash damage on most. Cause fire in the skag then is mostly 
what your damage comes from. You can see, we've one shot everything that we've encountered. Anyway, let's do this. And one shot everything. Let's go see done. Funk up. Oh, 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 fu oh, shite. Oh, fucking hell. This is... You saying great? Oh, this, this is this is great. Never mind. This is great. Saved. Clutch. Yeah, you've gotta stand really far to not damage yourself with the orb. When it's gonna? When is the spawn and where? Come on! Right here. Right there. there. You're dead. One shot. All of these guys, they're dead. Shoulder, you're dead. I'm dead. Also, please spawn, spawn, spawn enemies. Please, thank you. Not a one shot on both of these guys for some reason. One shot. Are we gonna one shot all of them? So now, dogs. Oh fuck me. Oh, yeah, and for the anoint on the shield. Oh yeah, never mind. I've already mentioned the anoint for the shield. Let's do one shot. We've one shot each phase of the Valkyries. Wow. ASMD is pretty good. I don't know why Killer 6 says that ASMD sucks, but it's a very strong sniper. In my opinion, the strongest, right, b right above the storm and the firestorm. We don't talk about the complex routes. Also, the Krakatoa exists, which doesn't deal splash damage from its bullets, but the volcano explosions do splash damage. But it's not gonna very likely happen that you're gonna hit anything with these. So pretty much the root, the complex root, is on the bottom of the barrel. Small one sniper with the Soliki protocol, the purple unique Malone sniper. So yeah, top one Malone sniper is probably the SMD, and number two is the Storm. Number three, Firestorm. Number four, Krakatoa. Number five, Complex Roots. And then number six, Holiki Protocol. Alright, this, this shall be fun. Yup. Let's throw more hexes, cause why not? Let's have some fun. Storm. Booyah, pussy. Booyah, pussy. Booyah! Booyah! All of you, dead. All of you, dead. You, dead. Or not, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, this shall be interesting. Dies a bunch already. Uh, I gotta be really careful, cause if I die one more time, then I'm probably dead. Also, the cub hasn't spawned. Cool. Hold on, I'm gonna down myself. So the cub goes on cooldown. Ooh. I gotta be careful. Alright. Let's wait a bit. So that my 5 fire life meter refreshes while that was fast. One shot both of the heavies. Oh, I love this build. My second favorite most build. Number one's my launcher mode. I just really love launchers in this game. If you want, I can make a showcase on the on my launcher mode builds if you guys want. Not a one shot. Suck. Man, that would've been awesome. Not a move. I don't wanna shoot. I don't wanna detonate the orb. Just okay. Thank you. Please. Please, 
You show me yourself. Thank you. One shot. Not. Another one shot. You kidding me, bro? You kidding me, brother? Oh, fuck me. Hold on, wait for that. Cap, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Okay, never mind. Cap has got me a second wind. Cap, I'm proud of you. Proud of you, man. Uh, this is the part that sucks. Getting the better half to die. Because this fucker moves around. Yeah, see? See? You see this shit? See this shit, bro? I'm gonna shoot him with the, the bolt. Uh, for, for some reason, the energy bolt counts as splash damage, so it gets skagged and bonuses. And the better half's down. Now for Wotan. Oh god, oh no no no, please no, please no, please no, please no, he's so close. I've got him, never mind. Ooh, Wotan is down, baby. I see the loot, if I can. I can destroy the leg. But for some reason, the splash damage doesn't destroy Wotan's legs. It sucks. Alright, takes boom, Warlord, Redistributor. Wait, do that white elephant. <laughs> wow, nice, nice, nice trophy. I'm gonna take it. Lung musket, take my shield, carrier, tidal wave. <laughs> Two ASMDs? Alright, I'll take it as well. Redistributor. And, okay, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow with maybe another build showcase. Maybe I'll showcase my launcher most build. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.